birch provides us with an abundance of resources. Sheets of bark for containers, roofing, flooring, and even making canoes. You can produce an oil that's anti-inflammatory and repels insects. Water can be gathered by tapping in spring and then turned into syrup just like on a maple tree. The papery bark filled with oil makes a great tinder to warm up quick, signal with its black smoke, or even repel insects. We can even eat the inner bark and make tea from the twigs and leaves. The birch truly was meant for the woodsman's survival. It doesn't end there though if you live in a cold northern region. In that area you may find a birch that is hosting what is known as chaga or tinder fungus. Guys I'm here to show you the birch tree again. I've talked about this in other videos and this is the white birch by the way. There's yellow and black also. Now this stuff up here, these black spots up here, that's what I'm really here to cap on today with the birch tree. Uh, up in northern climates like this, the white birch will grow what is known as chaga. It's a fungus that grows on the tree. We can take those with us. It's actually a great resource because we can make tea with it, which we'll go over later. I'll make some. And we can also use it to uh, carry an ember. Just as if I, just like the video I showed you with the rotten wood, we can use rotten wood and we can use bracket fungus. Well, this is another type of fungus, it's more northern, that uh, you can use to carry an ember. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and harvest that. Okay guys, I got our chaga that we collected in Michigan and we're going to take this now and talk about the uses of chaga and one of the main things a lot of people use it for is carrying fire because it smolders so well and it, it's so compact and spongy that it actually burns for a long time. And we're going to go ahead and just light this little piece here and let it burn while we shoot the rest of the video. Doesn't take much to ignite this stuff. I can let that sit there and it'll just smolder on its own. As long as it has air, it'll burn. So the other use of chaga, we can take a knife and just simply grab whatever we're gonna make our bush tea in this night and we can just start scraping it little little pieces of this orange what you want is the orange part here that's where that's the fungus that's when you know you have chaga we black on the outside like this look like the tree was almost cut and it'll grow from that because it kind of splits the tree out and then you just knock it right off it falls off real easy it's real weak and spongy you can stick your knife right in it you see that took nothing and that's when you know you have chaga but the orange color here is a dead giveaway and it grows on the birch tree. So all we need to do now is just take that orange part and just scrape little little fat fragments in our teacup here. And you can take and scrape this in a pile and put it in pill caps and take it as, as a pill for building your immune system. Um, another thing that, that the birch is used for, um, especially chaga, is, is inflammation. So if you have some swelling, this will help take that swelling down. But the main reason I use it is for immune building. Because in the winter time, it's cold. That's when you get sick from your skin drying out. And uh, this is the kind of stuff that'll, that'll boost your immune system in the middle of a harsh winter when sickness is rolling around. For one cup of tea, that's about all you need. It can be bitter. Um, boil it for eight minutes and you should be good to go. I'm gonna add some other stuff with this but it's it's good to put in your teas man. It, it's a great thing to, to drink and it'll boost your immune system and remember that the birch is used for a lot of other things but this video is just gonna focus on chaga alone. <laughs>